Re, zero minus starting life in another world Japanese, re, zero kara shimeru yishiji shenghuo hepburn, re, zero kara hajimiru a sekai seikatsu, lit. Re, starting life in a different world from zero, is a Japanese light novel series written by Tape Nagatsuki and illustrated by Shinichiru Otsuka. The story centers on Subaru Natsuki, a hikikomori who suddenly finds himself transported to another world on his way home from the convenience store. The series was initially serialized on the website Shosetsuka ni Naro from 2012 onwards. Seventeen volumes have been published by Media Factory since January 24, 2014, under their MF Bunko J imprint. The series' first three arcs have been adapted into separate manga series. The first, by Daichi Matsu, was published by Media Factory between June 2014 and March 2015. The second, by Makoto Fugetsu, has been published by Square Enix since October 2014. Matsu launched the third adaptation, also published by Media Factory, in May 2015. Additionally, Media Factory has published two anthology manga with stories by different artists. An anime television series adaptation by White Fox aired from April 4, 2016 to September 19, 2016, starting with an hour-long special. The first of two over based on the series was released on October 6, 2018, and the second over will be released in Q4 2019. In March 2017, game developer 5PB, released a visual novel based on the series. On March 23, 2019, a second season of the series was announced to be in production. The novels and all three manga adaptations are published in North America by Yen Press. The anime adaptation has been licensed by Crunchyroll, which released the anime on home video through Funimation in the United States and Anime Limited in the United Kingdom. The light novels have sold more than 3 million copies, while the anime series has sold more than 60,000 copies on home video. The light novels have been praised for their fresh take on the Another World concept, but have been criticized for awkward dialogue and redundancy. The anime series has been praised by critics for its culturally complex world and for the actions of its characters. The series received awards at the 2015 2016 New Type Anime Awards and the 2017 Sugoi Japan Awards, and was nominated for Anime of the Year at the Anime Awards 2016. Plot <laughs> <laughs> Subaru Natsuki is a hikikomori who does nothing but play games. One night, after visiting a convenience store, he is suddenly summoned to another world. With no sign of who summoned him, he soon befriends a silver-haired half-elf girl who introduces herself as Sattler, and her companion Puck. Sattler mentions that her insignia was stolen by a thief named Felt. When he and Sattler are mysteriously killed, Subaru awakens and discover that he has acquired the ability, "...return by death", enabling him to reverse time by dying. He greets Sattler again, only for her to be offended at being addressed by the name, "...Sattler", which in fact refers to the, "...jealous witch", and is considered a taboo. With the help of Reinhard a knight in another timeline, Subaru saves, "...Sattlers". Life from the assassin Elsa, she reveals that her real name is Amelia, and as a token of gratitude, Felt returns the insignia to her. While recovering at the Margrave Roswell's mansion, the mage Beatrice drains Subaru's mana. After waking up, he meets the twin maids Ram and Rem, as well as Roswell, who hires him as a butler. Roswell reveals that Amelia needed the insignia to qualify as a candidate in the upcoming royal election. After mysteriously dying again, Subaru decides to investigate the circumstances leading to his death, and tries to recreate these events. Following a series of traumatic deaths and revivals, he learns that a curse had been placed on him, then deduces it came from a village he had visited earlier, while also resolving Rem's intense hatred for witches. 
Eventually, the village is threatened by creatures known as Maybeasts, so Subaru, Rem and Ram have to rescue the villagers. Later, Amelia is summoned to the capital by two members of the Crucius camp, Wilhelm and Felix who is also a part of the Royal Guard for the start of the Royal Selection. There, Subaru and company meet the other royal candidates, Priscilla, Crush, Anastasia and Felt, and their knights, Aldebaran, Julius, and Reinhard. Felt initially announces that she will not participate in the election, and Subaru declares himself to be Amelia's knight. Following a public fight which leaves Subaru badly injured, he gets into a huge argument with Amelia, and she decides to cut ties with Subaru, leaving him behind. After recovering, Subaru decides to train under Wilhelm, while Felix advises him to make up with Amelia. Rem then warns Subaru that something is occurring at the mansion, and against Crush and Felix's warning, Subaru decides to return to the mansion. There, he discovers many dead bodies, including that of Rem, much to his horror. After dying and respawning, he is ambushed by a wicked group known as the Witch's Cult and meets the insane leader, Petaljurs, who then tortures and kills Rem. Having later been killed by a monstrous puck, Subaru respawns and curses Petaljurs. Knowing that the mansion and village will be attacked, Subaru seeks help from the other royal candidates, but they all decline. While gathering an evacuation, he encounters a legendary Maybeast called the White Whale. Rem sacrifices herself to allow Subaru to escape. After returning to the mansion, Subaru encounters Ram and Amelia, who have no recollection of Rem. Disturbed by the situation, Subaru reveals his return by death ability to Amelia, only for her to die afterward. Puck, enraged, transforms and kills Petaljurs and his cult, then freezes Subaru to death as punishment for Amelia's death. After respawning, Subaru, having fallen into utter despair, has a serious conversation with Rem, asking her to run away with him. Rem, however, strongly encourages Subaru not to give up and confesses her love for him, already knowing that his heart is for Amelia. With newfound resolve, Subaru then decides that he will start again from zero. Subaru and Rem later battle against the White Whale, after successfully striking an alliance with Crush and Anastasia's camps. Following a long and hard-fought battle, Wilhelm ultimately kills the White Whale, thus avenging the death of his wife. Eventually, with the help of his new allies, Subaru is finally able to defeat Petaljurs and his cult, saving the lives of Amelia and the villagers. Having reconciled with Amelia, Subaru confesses his love for her, leading Amelia to tearfully thank Subaru for saving her. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Production. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Light novel. The series editor at MF Bunko J, Masahito Akamoto, first became aware of the web novel in April 2013, when it began to appear on his Twitter feed. He was immediately impressed by the series' use of Return by Death, and how it was a "...depressing, yet surprising, twist on the fantasy genre," and began working with Nagatsuki to adapt the series into a light novel. Most light novels are around 250 pages in length, but Nagatsuki submitted a manuscript of more than 1,000 pages for the first novel, forcing Akamoto to edit it heavily. While Nagatsuki wanted to engage in world-building early on, Akamoto felt that it was more necessary to make the readers feel engaged with the characters. He ended up rearranging the story so that parts focusing on the world and its lore were pushed back to the third arc of the series. Prior to his involvement in Re, Zero, illustrator Shinichiru Otsuka worked on video games, which led him to draw the backgrounds first when illustrating the series. After reading the web novel, he submitted a number of character designs for the major characters to Akamoto. Subaru's initial design made him look like a delinquent, with Otsuka later describing it as, "...not the face of a boy in his teens." leading Akamoto to request that the character be more friendly and less fierce, so that the audience could empathize with him during emotional scenes. 
Originally, Amelia's character design appeared extremely plain, so a number of features were added to make her more interesting. Akemoto specified that she must fit the archetypal heroine mold. Rem and Ram also underwent significant changes from the first draft, their original designs lacked the characteristic hair parts, and their made uniforms were longer and more traditional. Anime Development and production The possibility of an anime adaptation came up early in the development of the series. Sho Tanaka, a producer at Katakawa, asked Akemoto about properties which might lend themselves to being animated, and Akemoto recommended that Tanaka read Nagatsuki's web novels. Despite an initial miscommunication which led to Akemoto believing that Tanaka wasn't interested, talks of adapting the series began soon after the web novels began the transition to print. As part of talks for the potential anime adaptation, Akemoto and Tanaka spoke to Sunaki Yoshikawa, an animation producer at Studio White Fox, about the possibility of his studio animating the series. Hoping to adapt the series into an anime similar to Stein's, Gate which White Fox also produced, and having a positive impression of the studio as one that did faithful adaptations, Tanaka then formally approached them about producing the show. White Fox's president contacted Yoshikawa for his opinion, and Yoshikawa recommended they accept, as long as the series, "...doesn't violate any broadcasting regulations." Production on the anime began sometime after the release of the fifth novel in October 2014. Masaharu Watanabe was chosen by Yoshikawa to direct the series because he had previously worked for the studio doing key animation, while Kyuta Sakai was picked to be the series character designer and animation director because Yoshikawa felt that she would be able to do justice to the novel's art and also maintain the series' animation quality over 25 episodes. Masahiro Yokotani was brought on board to compose the anime, his first time working on a ''Reborn in Another World'' type story. Yoshikawa warned him about the violence in the series, but he was still surprised by the violent and disturbing scenes in novels 3 and beyond. Having only read the first novel when he agreed to work on the project, he delegated the writing of those episodes in the second core to the other two scriptwriters. Yoshiko Nakamura joined the project sometime after Masahiro had completed the script for Episode 3. When it proved unfeasible for Yokotani and Nakamura to write the scripts alone, the decision was made to bring another scriptwriter on board. Gaku Iwasa, the president of White Fox, asked them to hire someone younger, leading Yokotani to suggest Eiji Umehara. Nagatsuki had recently been playing Chaos, Child, which Umehara had written for, and he approved the choice, suggesting that they let Umehara write the "...painful parts." Umehara was invited to join the project around the time that the scripts for episodes 8 and 9 were being written. Re, Zero was the first light novel adaptation that either of the screenwriters had worked on. Original author Tape Nagatsuki was very active in the production of the anime, attending script meetings and recording sessions. When the staff would encounter a problem with a scene, he would occasionally write lines for them to use as reference while writing the script. The series was not initially intended to have 25 episodes, but was extended to give more time to the battle with the White Whale which was expanded from two to three episodes and to the content of episode 18 episodes 16 to 18 were originally supposed to be covered in two episodes. Watanabe's main directive to the staff was to "...capture the mood of the novel as much as possible." The scriptwriters had discussions about how to compress the dense source material without losing the central elements of the story, and Nakamura recalls working with composition notes that, "...went on for pages". 
While planning and scripting the anime, choosing a proper conclusion was one of the most difficult parts for the staff, and a significant amount of time was devoted to choosing what to cover in the final episode, which included material not yet covered in the light novel. After joining the project, both Nakamura and Umehara had to adjust their views of the main character, and were forced to rewrite scenes where they had made Subaru appear cool. At Watanabe's direction, Nakamura was made to rewrite Subaru's telling of the Red Ogre who cried in episode 6 multiple times. The staff also had difficulty deciding on a song to use for Subaru's ringtone that plays during the closing scene of episode 19, considering songs like, Kanpaku Sengen, The Beard Song, and M by Princess Princess, before settling on, Yoke no Michi. From Dog of Flanders. Topic: <inaudible> Soundtrack. While choosing a composer to produce the series music, director Watanabe wanted to choose someone who had hit a nerve with him. A fan of drama series, Watanabe was struck by a piece of music in the medical drama Death's Organ, and found that the series composer, Suhiro Kenichiro, had also worked on a number of his favorite anime and drama series. After Suhiro was attached to the production, Watanabe gave him three major guidelines, use human voices during the return by death sequences, compose the music like he would for a drama or a movie to capture the emotional scenes, and pull all the stops for the suspenseful scenes. Additionally, for the first coup, Watanabe asked for music with a suspenseful vibe, while requesting music with a romantic feel for the second coup. Both Watanabe and Suhiro are fans of Italian composer Ennio Morricone, and Suhiro tried to take inspiration from his works while composing the soundtrack. Watanabe also requested that there be songs that mimicked Hans Zimmer's score from The Dark Knight. While Suhiro used music that wasn't very anime-ish during most of the series, he was asked to use more traditional anime music during the slice of life scenes. A number of times during the series, such as in episodes 7 and 15, Watanabe made it a point to use an entire song, something which is unusual in most anime. The series makes limited use of its opening and ending themes, and Watanabe has said that he wished he could use them more frequently. Topic: <laughs> Media Web novel The Re, Zero web novel was initially serialized by Tape Nagatsuki, writing under the username Nezumi Iro Neko on the user generated content site Shosetsuka ni Naro from April 20, 2012 onwards. As of January 4, 2019, six novels and two side stories have been published, comprising a total of 476 chapters. <laughs> Light novels Following the web novel's publication, Media Factory acquired the series for print publication. The first light novel volume, with illustrations by Shinichiru Otsuka, was published on January 24, 2014, under their MF Bunko J imprint. As of March 2019, 19 volumes have been published, as well as three side story volumes and four short story collections. Nagatsuki and Otsuka began publishing a series of short side stories focusing on characters from the series in Monthly Comic Alive, starting with the character Elsa in August 2016. It was followed with one focused on Petra Late on November 26, 2016, and one featuring Ram and Rem on January 27, 2016. The light novels are published in English by Yen Press, who announced their acquisition of the license via Twitter on December 2, 2015. The publisher has also acquired the license to the Re, Zero X side novels. Manga 
A manga adaptation by Daichi Matsu, titled Re, Zero, Starting Life in Another World Chapter 1, A Day in the Capital Re, Zero Karashimeru Yishiji Shenghuo Dai Yijang Wangdao no Yi Ribian Re, Zero Kara Hajimiru Asekai Seikatsu Dai Ichi Sho, Oto no Ikenichi Hen, began serialization in the August 2014 issue of Media Factory's Seinen Manga Magazine Monthly Comic Alive on June 27, 2014. The final volume was released on March 23, 2015. On December 2, 2015, Yen Press announced that they had licensed the series, a second manga, titled Re, Zero Starting Life in Another World, Chapter 2, One Week at the Mansion Re, Zero Karashi Meru Yishiji Shenghuo Dai Erzhang Wufu no Yijojian Bian Re, Zero Kara Hajimiru Asekai Seikatsu Dai Ni Sho, Yoshiki no Ishuken Hen, with art by Makoto Fugetsu, began serialization in Square Enix's Seinen Magazine monthly Big Gangan on October. October 25, 2014. The final chapter was published on December 24, 2016, and an extra chapter was published on January 25, 2017. The second adaptation has also been licensed by Yen Press. Daichi Matsu began serializing a third manga, Re, Zero Starting Life in Another World, Chapter 3, Truth of Zero, Re, Zero Karashi Meru Yishiji Shenghuo Dai Sanjang Truth of Zero, Re, Zero Kara Hajimiru Asekai Seikatsu Dai San Shou, Truth of Zero in Comic Alive's July 2015 issue on May 27, 2015. Yen will publish the third adaptation as well, a manga anthology, titled Re, Zero Starting Life in Another World Official Anthology Comic Re, Zero Karashi Meru Yishiji Shenghuo Gongshi Ansoroji Kamiku Re, Zero Kara Hajimiru Asekai Seikatsu Koshiki Ansoroji Kamiku, was published by Media Factory on June 23, 2016. A second anthology was published on September 23, 2017. Internet radio show An internet radio show to promote the series named, Re, Radio Life in a Different World from Zero. Re, Zero Karashi Meru Yishiji Regio Shenghuo began broadcasting on March 27, 2016. The show was aired every Monday and was hosted by Rie Takahashi, the voice actress for Amelia. Guests that appeared on the show included Yusuke Kobayashi, Subaru Natsuki, Inori Minez, Rem, Yumi Uchiyama, Puck, Rie Murakawa, Ram, Satomi Rai, Beatrice, Chinatsu Akasaki, Felt, Kana Weta, Anastasia Hoshin, and Yui Hori, Felix. The show ran for 33 episodes and concluded on December 19, 2016. The first radio CD, which contains episodes 1 to 8 of the show, was released on June 27, 2016. The second, which contains episodes 9 to 16 of the show, was released on September 28, 2016. The third, containing episodes 17 to 24, was released on November 30, 2016, and the fourth, containing episodes 25 to 33, was released on March 29, 2017. Topic. Anime An anime television series adaptation was announced by Katakawa in July 2015. The series is directed by Masaharu Watanabe and written by Masahiro Yokotani, with animation by the studio White Fox. Kayuta Sakai is serving as both character designer and as chief animation director. Music for the series is composed by Kenichiro Suhiro. Kentero Minagishi is the series director of photography, and Yoshito Takamine serves as art director. Jin Akatagawa handled sound direction for the anime, and sound effects were produced by Yuji Furuya. Other staff members include Hitomi Sudo editing, Yu Karub 3D director, Saaya Kinjo art configuration, Azumi Sakamoto color design, and Noritaka Suzuki and Goichi Iwabate prop design. The 25 episode series premiered on April 4, 2016, with an extended 50-minute first episode. It was broadcast on TV Tokyo, TV Osaka, TV Aichi, and at X. 
The series was simulcast by Crunchyroll. Episode 18 ran two minutes longer than a typical anime episode, clocking at 25 minutes and 45 seconds. The final episode ran four minutes longer, clocking at 27 minutes and 15 seconds. A series of anime shorts featuring chibi versions of the characters, titled Re, Zero Tilde starting break time from Zero Tilde Re, Zero Karashi Meru Ziuchi Shijian Burekutaimu Re, Zero Kara Hajimiru break time, were produced by Studio Puyukai to accompany the series. The shorts ran for 11 episodes before being replaced by a new series of shorts, titled Re, Petty Tilda Starting Life in Another World from Petty Tilda, Re, Puchi Karashi Meru Yishiji Shenghuo Re, Puchi Kara Hajimiru a Sekai Seikatsu, which began airing on June 24, 2016 and ran for 14 episodes. The shorts are directed, written, and produced by Minoru Ashina, with character designs by Minoru Takehara, who also animated the series alongside Sumi Komoto and Chisato Totsuka. Kenichiro Suhiro reprised his role as composer for the shorts, while Tomoji Furuya of Suwara Pro produced the sound effects. Jin Akatagawa directed the sound at production company Magic Capsule. The shorts aired on at X after each episode of the regular series, starting on April 8, 2016. Crunchyroll acquired the streaming rights to both shorts. An original video animation over episode was announced at the MF Bunko J Summer School Festival 2017 event on September 10, 2017. All of the main staff and cast returned for the OVA, with Tatsuya Koyanagi joining as chief director. Titled Memory Snow, the OVA was screened in Japanese theaters starting on October 6, 2018. A second OVA, titled Hayaketsu no Kizuna Bingji no Frozen Bonds, was announced on September 23, 2018. The OVA will be an adaptation of the prequel novel Re, Zero Kara Hajimiru Zenjitsu Tan, Hayaketsu no Kizuna Re, Zero Karashi Meru Kianri Tan Bingji no Ban which was included with the first Japanese Blu-ray release of the television series, and focused on the meeting of Amelia and Puck. It will be released in Japanese theaters in Q4 2019. The series is licensed by Crunchyroll in the United States. Funimation announced during their Katsuken 2018 panel that they will release it on home video with an English dub as part of the two companies' partnership. Crunchyroll also holds the license in the United Kingdom, where the series is distributed by Anime Limited. Both Funimation and Anime Limited Season 1 Part 1 Blu-ray releases received negative attention after it was discovered that they showed visible color banding and compression artifacts. The Season 1 Part 2 Blu-ray was released on February 5, 2019. On March 23, 2019, it was announced that a second season is in production. The cast will reprise their roles for the second season. Topic music The first opening theme song was Redo by Konomi Suzuki, and the first ending theme was Styx Helix by Myth and Royd, while for episode 7 the ending theme was Straight Bet, also by Myth and Royd. The second opening theme song, titled Paradisus Paradoxum, was performed by Myth and Royd, while the second ending theme, Stay Alive, was performed by Rie Takahashi. Myth and Royd also performed ending theme for episode 14 titled Theater D. The series soundtrack was released on CD on October 26, 2016. The disc contains 21 tracks composed by Kenichiro Suhiro. Redo, Suzuki's tenth single, was released on CD on May 11, 2016. The single was also released as a limited edition with a DVD featuring a music video, a live concert video, and a making of video. The songs were performed by Suzuki, with lyrics by Genki Mizuno and arrangement by Makoto Miyazaki. The CD for Styx Helix, the series' first ending theme, was Myth and Royd's third single. Written, arranged, and performed by the group, it was released on May 25, 2016, and included both regular and instrumental versions of Styx Helix and Straight Bet, Stay Alive. The second ending theme was released as a single on August 24, 2016. The songs were performed by Takahashi Amelia, and Mine's Rem. 
The songs were written and arranged by Hearts Cry. Myth and Royd released the second opening theme as a single on August 24, 2016. The CD included regular and instrumental versions of Paradisus Paradoxum and Theatre D. For Memory Snow. Three pieces of theme music were used the ending theme Memory Memory Snow and the image song Relive by Nonok, and the insert song Memories by Rico Azuna. Video games In August 2016, game developer 5PB, announced that they were developing a visual novel based on the series, titled Re, Zero Starting Life in Another World Death or Kiss Re, Zero Karashi Meru Yishiji Shenghuo Death or Kiss, Re, Zero Kara Hajimiru Asekai Seikatsu Death or Kiss the game follows an original story that differs from the light novel and the anime, and allows the player to choose between routes featuring Amelia, Rem, Ram, Felt, Beatrice, Crush, Priscilla, or Anastasia. A DLC will allow players who pre-ordered the game to replace the characters' costumes with swimsuits. The opening theme, Yell, Magic Starts with a Kiss. Yell, tilde kuchibra kara hajimaru mo fa tilde, yell, tilde kuchibiru kara hajimaru maho tilde, was performed by Suzuki, who sung the anime's first opening theme, while the ending theme, Dai Dai Daisuke, Dai Dai Daisuke was performed by Minez and Murakawa. In Japan, the game was originally scheduled to be released for PlayStation 4 and PlayStation Vita on March 23, 2017, but was delayed to March 30, 2017, due to certain circumstances. The limited edition of the game came with a soundtrack CD and either a RAM for the PS4 version or REM for the PS Vita version SD figure. A virtual reality app that allows the user to interact with the character REM was released for iOS and Android on May 26, 2017. A version featuring the character Amelia was released on June 6, 2017. The game was later ported to both PC and to the PlayStation VR. Other media Kadokawa published a 272-page guide to the series' first three arcs, titled Re, Zeropedia, alongside the tenth volume of the novels on October 24, 2016. An official Doyinshi art book was published at Comiket, with art by Ponkin 8 Shirabako and My Youth Romantic Comedy is Wrong, As I Expected, Yuka Nakajima Listen to Me, Girls. I Am Your Father, Amagi Brilliant Park, and Takayaki Arifureta Shokugyu de Sekai Saikyo. A crossover with Natsumi Akatsuki's light novel series Konosaba, titled Re, Starting Life Blessing This World was published on December 21, 2016. The book featured interviews with each series' authors and illustrators, as well as the principal voice actors in their respective anime adaptations. A one-shot crossover manga by Daichi Matsus and Masahito Watari illustrator of the Konosuba manga adaptation was also included. A fanbook containing commentary on the episodes of the anime, as well as the collected anime Times cast and staff interviews, was published on December 31, 2016. Bushiroad released a booster pack set and trial deck plus of Re, Zero Starting Life in Another World for Wei Schwartz on December 28, 2018. Reception According to Japanese light novel news website Lane News, the series had 1 million copies in print as of June 2016, over 2 million as of September 2016 and over 3.1 million as of May 2017. The light novel series was the 10th best-selling light novel series in Japan between November 2015 and May 2016, selling 263,357 copies. During that period, the first and second volumes were the 35th and 48th best-selling light novel volumes, selling 49,194 and 41,617 copies, respectively. 
The series was the fourth best selling series in 2016, selling 1,007,381 copies between November 2015 and November 2016. Its first three volumes were the 14th, 21st, and 30th best selling volumes of the year, selling 155,363, 127,970, and 110,574 copies, respectively. In 2017, the series was the third best selling series, with 925,671 copies sold. Its 1st, 10th, 11th, and 12th volumes respectively ranking 19th 60,135 copies, 25th 56,001 copies, 7th 101,480 copies, and 12th 79,431 copies in the period between November 2016 and May 2017. The series was the 21st best-selling anime series on home video during 2016, selling approximately 60 68,791 Blu-ray and DVD sets. Theron Martin of Anime News Network reviewed the first book, praising it for being a somewhat fresher take on the transported to another world concept, but leveled criticism at it for bumpy and awkwardly timed dialogue and a tendency for redundancy. The series ranked number one in a poll of 820 people conducted by the Japanese website Anime. Anime, to determine the best show of spring 2016. Andy Hanley from UK Anime Network considered the anime adaptation as one of 2016's best series. The managing editor from Anime Now, Richard Eisenby, lists the anime as one of his top picks from 2016 for its culturally complex world and characters that have their own plans, faults, and motivations. He praised Subaru as the most complex character of the year, due to provoking the audience to cheer him and despise him, in a world that portrayed him as the least special person in it. The series took second place in the 2015 2016 Newtype Anime Awards. Additionally, director Masaharu Watanabe took first place, as did Subaru, Rem, and Puck in the best male, female, and mascot character categories, respectively. Masahiro Yokotani's screenplay took second place, while the series' character designs by Shinichiru Otsuka and Kayuta Sakai took third place. The series' soundtrack and second opening theme both took fourth place in their categories. The light novels and the anime both took first place in their respective categories in the 2017 Sugoi Japan Awards. In a survey of primarily female Otomart users, the series was ranked second on a list of the most successful anime, manga, light novel franchises of 2016. Re Zero was nominated for Anime of the Year. In Crunchyroll's The Anime Awards 2016, and was also the service's most watched series of 2016, topping Yuri on Ice. See also All You Need Is Kill, a light novel making use of the similar time travel mechanism. Edge of Tomorrow, an American film adaptation of All You Need Is Kill. Groundhog Day, an American comedy film based on a similar time travel mechanism